Hello, hello, beautiful heroes. Happy Monday. We've come full circle. It is Monday again. <laughs> um, we're here for Dark Side Detective. Um, so those of you who have been waiting for control to be um, done should be happy. Uh, welcome to uh, Julie, Cookie, Drilly, Sassy, good night, Sassy, sleep well, Commodore Tom, Fizz, hello, hello, how's it going, guys? Also, we've reached, wait, 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 this deserves this, wait, no, oh my god, hold on, here we go, <laughs> not blown out, super pasty, we reached our number one eagle, yay, we did it! Thank you guys who contributed channel points towards the goal. Uh, when I stream one of these two delightful games, delightful, um, I will be wearing a narwhal onesie. I we gotta we gotta go for Subnautica. The narwhal onesie would make so much more sense under the ocean. Anybody who sees me playing Resident Evil Eight in a narwhal onesie is gonna have a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Um, Jora, welcome. Hello, hello. I wanted to play this. Well, then you should skadoodle. We want them to have questions and to never come back ever again. Because <laughs> I don't have to donate to the onesie uh, challenge. Uh, I'm glad you are starting with the game I voted for. Yeah, so you guys managed to tie a poll on Twitter, which I, I don't think you understand how ridiculously miraculous that is because you can't even like cheat you can't like look you can't look at a twitter poll and, like peek at what everybody else has already answered and then be like mm, i'm gonna go for this one to make it nice and round it out so by some stroke of magic two of the poll answers tied not all four that would have been way more impressive but two of them pull uh the tied uh inspector waffles and this one um so the game plan is this one uh, today, Thursday, and Saturday, and then a special bonus stream on Friday. Special bonus. Special bonus extra stream on Friday. Uh, we're going to be doing a f FMV Friday for the game Erica, which was kindly gifted to me by the devs. Um, so we will be playing that on Friday. I'm really excited for it. It's, it's a mystery. It's a good old mystery. Um, and then after we finish this game, it might take us all week. It might take us into next week. I'm not really sure. After we finish this one, we'll, we'll follow up with Inspector Waffles since that one had the next highest interest. And, and then we'll hit up Cookie's game, Landlord of the Woods, because that should be a really short uh, Mira's mini. And then we'll jump into Judgment, which might take us a while. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. After that, we will probably be to the point where I'm playing one of these two. And then Judgment after that. I'm the only person who voted for it. Cookie, I think they just don't know what it is. I think, I, you know, I've never pitched it. Not a lot of people know about it. But once they see it, they'll be like, ah, a Miro game. Ah, I see. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. Um, Dark Side Detective, though. Let's get some, let's get some sound that isn't some laid back uh jimmy jams let's get some spooky jams there's no spooky jams there's none dark side detective has no sound we fucked up oh no i know what's happening i know what's happening there we go there we go there's indeed sound uh for those who are not familiar with the dark side detective franchise this is the second game the first game is just titled dark side detective um, and we play as, uh, Detective McQueen, I think is his official title, Detective McQueen, and his sidekick officer, Dooley. Dooley is a gem of a human. He's just, he's just the cutest. Um, I don't really remember a lot of what happened in the first game, um, other than the Comster Fire thing, which wasn't related to the game in any capacity, so that doesn't really count. Um, but yeah, they, they, they essentially are detectives of the supernatural. I think that's all you really need to know. 
50 consecutive days in Mass Effect Trilogy. Oh, Jesus. Going hard. I've never played Mass Effect, and I see a lot of people talking about that one, and I think maybe, maybe. This might be too loud. I think maybe this might be too loud. Um, but I'm also just, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a big space person. I'm more a supernatural person. Uh, the first case is missing presumed dark side. Pineapple home computer systems. Good, good. Let's see if there's any silly settings. Language is auto detected. Narc mode is on. Good, 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 good. I'm glad we have narc mode. Classic. Uh, I don't know. Uh, audio mode slightly better than normal. Slightly worse than normal audio mode. Music will be piped into your soul cavity. Mmm. I do like that setting. Well, hide in your room and hum music into your ears. Even better. Come on in. Uh, I don't know. I might have to go with soul cavity. You know, just you got to feel it in here. I'm definitely a supernatural person. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Makes me sound like simultaneously a great person and a superhero. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, narc mode, snitch mode activated. Uh, on, but we're telling you it's off. It's definitely off this time. Tee hee! <laughs> Look, those targeted adverts are a coincidence. Turn it off, just enter your bank pin. On. There's no, there's no off, there's none. Uh, legitimate audio options. Language is... Oh lord, why did I do this to myself? English, keep it English. I touched it thinking it was a joke, but it was not a joke. Wait, let's read how to play. Let's just, let's just see if they have anything. Detective McQueen closes cases by talking to characters and solving puzzles. No, this all looks normal. This looks like normal, normal activities. Nothing out of the ordinary there. All right. Uh, missing presumed dark side case summary. I gotta, I gotta find Dooley. Dooley's missing? Tragedy. Send it to Japanese. No, 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 not again. You know, I've, I've accidentally done that to more than just the game you saw it happen to. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's happened multiple times. Specifically Japanese, too. All right, start investigation. We gotta find Dooley. Am I supposed to click here? It's not, no, it's just, it just had to play I the sound effect. You're gonna miss the Squid! Party. Thank you for the raid! Hello, hello! Ooh, it's gonna do a previously on. I don't think I can pause this. Maybe it'll just sit here. Let's try it. Cookie, thank you for that caster call out. Arc Fox, welcome. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Squid! How was your stream? How was Star Citizen? Have they dropped anything new lately? What have they been working on the most? Bugs! Oh, like, like issues, not like actual insects, but like they're struggling. That's unfortunate. Uh, anybody who's just coming in, we just started this game. So you perfect timing. We're about to recap the first game. This is the second game. Let's go. Hortec, new ships. New landing zones, soon TM. They dropped bugs, shield tech, and a few other things. Okay, so like working on some ship mechanics. No actual insects, that's unfortunate though. Uh, it's been a year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Oh, oh just like that? Dooley? Dooley! I forgot that that ended on a cliffhanger. AJ, welcome! Dark Side Detective 2 is the second game. Yeah, it's called a Fumble in the Dark, I think. I think that's the official title. Yeah, Fumble in the Dark. Dark Side Detective 2. How's it going, AJ? Uh, I have an idea where he ended up. The Dark Side? Likely? Oh no! So I've been chasing up Chasing up on the old leads? Is that a, it's not a phrase. That's not a thing. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley, where are you? Scream into the void. And started chasing new leads too. Oh, 
Oh? Have you seen this man? What? Where can I get that hairstyle? Improbs, welcome! Zero, welcome! Is that a Stranger Things reference? It very well could be. I would not put it past them. I haven't seen Stranger Th or Stranger Things is the... That's the TV show with the Demogorgons, right? Uh, that reference missed me. I've watched that entire show. Wacky way being inflated will harm demon. Um, have you seen this man? Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. Solid. Are you in there, Dooley? Battling some portals. I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've... Oh, we got fired. Taking some time off to search on my own. Oh no, we got fired. We got canned. So I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that will help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workspace. Or uh, perhaps food has been going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reached out to me via the station. Please, I need your help. Twin Lakes. Uh, that is a direct reference to Twin Peaks, which is for some reason the show that my brain drudged up when you asked that question. Um, I bet Detective McQueen would love to work for the FBC. That's all. That's my sentence. Get off the stage. Oh no, it's Dick Brickman. We're interviewing with Dick Brickman. This guy, this, I remember this guy being a, a complete ass. Which stands. And now on Dick Brickman's morning glory, a squirrel who's just nuts about numbers. Oh, Rax is here. Hell yeah, I remember her. How was it? It went well. Come on, let's go. What about the cameraman? Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some real sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks calling you with all sorts of weird stuff in no time. That's very much a mixed blessing. Got a fern. We couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better with or without a bush. His show is called Morning Glory? Gross. Dick Brickman. Brick Dickman? Nah, I, fuck. I already can't remember. Uh, equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Dick Brickman. Dick Brickman. Oh! Yeah, I guess I am in the way of some stuff here, huh? Hmm. How do we make me... Small! <laughs> Perfect. That's Raxa. Good, I like this size. Can we talk to Dick Brickman? So do I just... please. Okay, the squirrel. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Aww. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? He's hungry. Bubbles. What? What am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes premiere and only live morning talk show. This is like the weirdest first day I've ever been on. Huh. Date, what? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I thought I thought he was a person. <laughs> Bubbles is doing really good. Yeah, this is this is the real Miro's mini. This is this is the real Miro's mini. Micro, micro Miro, micro mini mi mini Miro, micro mini Miro, minuscule Miro, the the miniest of Miros. Yes. Okie dokie. Uh, I think we leave now. Madam Lameg, Kent, you can't fire me. Uh, I can and I have. If you were such a good psychic. You'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Minro. The Minro. <laughs> Should we talk to the mystic lady? Or should we touch this paint can? An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. 
Go away. No stars here. I downsized staff into one room so I could have an ensuite. Wow. He, he claimed that. Miroscopic. Ooh, that's a good one. Min Mino? Mino? Mini Miro's Mino? Yeah, that, that, that tracks. Um, knock, knock. Nobody's there. Okay, we aren't getting into editing. Can we go to the dressing room? Sure can. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a star in the trash. Do you think these are made out of real stardust? You think that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. Fuck yeah, we got star. We got a star. We're stealing stars. Okay, to the dressing room. Crystal, uh, oh, this is Mystic Mystique. D different than the, wait, different than the Mystic Lady? Uh, that crystal is melanite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. Oh, wow, rude. Uh, I will take it. And then I'm gonna get the fuck out of here because I was mean. Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I knew your name? That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the show. Because I am Lady LeMeg, Twin Lake's finest psychic. Oh. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you've been searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. She threw that one out really bold. His name is Patrick Dooley? That's what I said! And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your plea on the TV in my boss's office. But I am a psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other, other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you, I have to bring you. Uh, let's go then. We can't. We can't? We can't, not yet. My stuff is still locked up inside the storage room. Uh, okay, well, let's get it and go. Oh, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is in there already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, tell you what, you get my stuff and I'll meet you out by your, mm, hold on. I'm getting a vision, yes, I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously I'm a police off. Super, see you there with my bag, ciao. <laughs> Madam Lamiro. Do we have a first name? It's, I think it's just detective. <laughs> I don't know that we really do have a first name. Okay, so we gotta get our bag. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago when we spoke, you said, this is a different person, detective. Oh, oh, oh. They write to me for advice, my fans. I don't rely, reply, of course. Never work for free. Aren't they divine? My fans, the ball heads. They're wearing crystal balls for heads. They're wearing crystal balls for heads. Uh, they'd kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get that person's name, address, and address, please? Can, can we solve a murder right now? Epic, welcome, how's it going? That's me and my ball heads at last year's SciCon. I signed so many balls that day. They did that shit on purpose. You know they did that on purpose. Oh, that must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. We got a didgeridoo? Oh look, a didgeridoo. Don't mind if I do. We took a didgeridoo. Why did we take a didgeridoo of all things? Flower from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome, new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. Mm-hmm. 
What a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Oh, clowns. I know they should treat a star like me with, a re with real respect. That's just some flattened out aluminum foil. <laughs> Public access doesn't have the budget for real mirrors. How much could a real mirror possibly cost? Things are going ballsy. Yeah, they are. Can we rename ourselves to the ball heads? Please, God, no. <laughs> Please, no. Crystal ball. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal ball. Okay. Hello, are you a fan? After we just talked about everything in the room, let's introduce ourselves. Good job, me. Uh, hello, are you a fan? I can see not. No ball on your head. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have the time for non-fans. Rude. Okay, well, we need to get that key somehow, allegedly. We have a star. We have star star. Good. It's like, it's like moon moon. We have melanite and we have a didgeridoo. Can we use this to scare the shit out of her? No. Worth a shot. Dangerously sharp star. Hmm. Uh, that's a drooping Willoughby tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private, private reasons. Uh, who do I get to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature. Ollie Gross! Oh my god, that's no use. I need a- oh wait, that was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel. Tee hee hee. I- oh, That was a weird interaction. That was bizarro. 15 minutes from now. The time in 10 minutes. Plex says this is the time. 25 minutes time. Why would you have a clock like that? Uh, I don't think... Th I think this is meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like the fans reaching out to him or the performers. He believes that they perform better when they are attention starved. Wow. Wow. Dark. We need to tie the vote. All in favor of renaming us the ball head, say aye. <laughs> Egg. Jorah, I don't think that's how you vote. Nothing happens when I touch the trash can. That's a tragedy. Oh, Lord. The Blood Wolves! Okay, so the Blood Wolves, uh, for those who haven't seen the first game, are like Boy Scouts, um, but like darker, creepier. Um, the Blood Scouts were a troop that Dooley was in charge of, so he was in charge of these kids. The Blood Wolves, what are you doing here? We saw you on TV. We're here to do a help. Oh, Devin. How'd it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who's the lady in the car? You kidnapping her for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? Jesus, these children. She's a psychic. She says she can help us find Dooley. I just have to get some of her stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? Oh. Mom and and dude say I'm not. Sorry, dude? Do you mean dad? I prefer the consistency of mom and dude. <laughs> Never thought about that in my life. Mom and dude. They wanted to know if you have the police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what courses have you done for minding kids? Minding kids? Is that like babysitting? You mind them? You pay attention to them? Uh, do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended. By them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? <laughs> wow. I do mind kids, thank you. <laughs> Jordan, do you have a degree in minding kids? 
Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. Uh, it's mostly brooding these days, which upside is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Oh yeah, you're not wrong. I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only had to ask. Now, why is our car looking so shitty? Stripped of all its glory, now it's just the moto. P is for police car because that's what's parked here. That's not it, Devin. That's not it. With the skyline. Twin Lakes, the city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful, especially when it's far away and asleep. <laughs> Number two news outlet in town. Impressive since it's the only news outlet in town. Wow, to be the only one and then be number two, that sucks. Um. Two palm trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. It must be like California. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could talk to the receptionist. Hey, Fat Knuckle! <laughs> Teensy Miro! Uh, I'm Micro Miro, or Mini Miro, or Microscopic Miro, or what was the other one that we said? There was one that I liked quite a bit. Miroscopic. I'm Miroscopic. <laughs> How's it going, Fat Knuckle? Uh, Ollie. Ollie is talking to us. Uh, oh, you're new. Yeah, that last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Oh, that's nice. They're just gonna have their own co uh, conversation, so. Mira skill. Oh, that's a good one, too, AJ. Props. Empty. It's emptied? In case of fire, burn. Okay. Nothing in the bin. Well, technically, there never was anything in the bin. We stole out of that bin. Okay, we can't go this way anymore. What are we gonna do with a digit? Can we scare the shit out of the fucking... Out of the squirrel? No. Can we play it over here on TV? Can we give it to the cameraman? What am I gonna do with a didgeridoo, a star, and a crystal in order to get this key? Honeystone. I accidentally took a course in geology uh, instead of geomancy last semester. Good job, Raxa. Hmm. Do we need to become an employee? Give AJ the didgeridoo. He might know what to do. AJ, can you play didgeridoo out of curiosity? I've tried before and it, it made like a weird fart sound and that was as far as I got, so. I did my best. Here, children, have a didgeridoo. Child, have a didgeridoo. Child, have a crystal. Can we talk to the psychic out here? <laughs> Why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help. Jumping is helping, lady. How's that helping? Hey, Casper, welcome. Hello, hello. I thought it was supposed to make a fart sound. No, I think it's supposed to make like a, a wooby wooble wooble sound. Yeah, that's the onomatopoeia for it. You gotta be able to circular breathe. Yeah, see it, no, I, no fucking clue. You can't do it either, AJ. Okay, that makes me feel a bit better. What you had was a didgeridoo doo. Ah, I see. Gotta love the wooby wooble sound. A wooby wooble wooble. Yeah, exactly. I need a jumping is helping t-shirt. Then, then you'd be obligated to hop everywhere you go. Sign here, please. Uh, sure. Thanks, enjoy your delivery. Uh, oh. Oh. We took the delivery. Address to Mystic Mystique. Uh, there's an interesting clinking from inside of it, but it's taped too tightly to check its contents. Oh, you know what? The star was really sharp. Ah, it's a federal fence to open someone else's mail, party pooper. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? Fuck yeah, we opened it. Glass bowls. That is in no way helpful. Hey, 
Paladin, welcome! Amateur, I make weird farty sounds even without a didgeridoo. Wow, how impressive. What a talent. What are we gonna do with these weird bowls? Extra fish bowls. Do you want your bowls? Oh, these are what the fans wear. Oh, these look just like what my fans wear. Why, I think you were fans yourself if you weren't so old. I'm not old. You're so very old. I'm younger than you. Sorry, I can't hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised dust did just shoot out of you as you spoke. We gotta, we gotta dress up as, as people. Hmm. Okay, no, we need the kids. She likes young people. We need the kids. We need the kids to be ball heads. Be ball heads. Blood wolves assemble! We're right here. <laughs> uh, good. Um, okay, so who wants to earn their espionage badge, eh? All of us, obviously. Okay, I need you to put these on your heads, go in there, and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head uh, to lure out the new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want some autographs or something. Uh, just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably? Fuck yeah, ball heads unite. Oh my god, ball heads everywhere. We're here to see the queen or something. She cures bald heads. They are nailing it. No, guys, wear bald heads. Mystic Mystique's fans. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. 100% no. Not gonna happen. My fans. I adore my fans. Cool. Let's, let's get in here before they fuck shit up. I shouldn't see that coming. All right, where is the lockbox, though, that we're supposed to... There's supposed to be a lockbox. Station storage room. Oh, okay, over here. Cabbage and onions? Oh, 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 like if he was holding a farting concert. Beautiful. What's the mostest boxes you've delivered in one day? And also, what, how, how many boxes can you carry at once? And also, what size boxes are we talking about in my previous questions? Hope. <laughs> Delivery woman can't handle. Hey, so so welcome. We are spoopy. I'm King Ballhead. Bring me, uh, bring the mind witch before me. Off with her head. I want to be King Ballhead. I am a ballhead. Yes, sirree. Give me some of those sweet, vague future predictions. I'm here for whatever this Nostra dumbass has to say. I see you got your teenage sarcasm badge. Thanks. I worked hard, but it, it was totally worth it. It was hard work. My fans, my adoring fans, what a lovely surprise. How did we surprise a psychic, eh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you that I could make the time to see you, which was easy to do, as I knew it was happening. She's nailing it. Good little ball heads. Okay, so the storage room is back over here. Oh man, I, I'm gonna do that way too often. Dorescent Locks is just blocked by Marv. If I want in, I need to get him out of the way. Can I pass? This is it, Marv. Your chance to get the perfect shot. I just I just need in the uh the shot that shows those Hollywood big shots that you're the man to call for any squirrel related blockbusters. Uptown squirrel. Gone squirrel, the squirrel with the dragon tattoo. Mean squirrels. I would go on, but I'm talking to myself and I should be focusing on the shot. <sighs> I'll just give him a moment to wrap things up here. Damn it, squirrel, do your thing. How am I meant to get that golden shot if you won't do your thing? 
Uh, I guess if we went into the storage room, we gotta have, we're gonna have to help that squirrel. Is this what a normal day is like for you? Pretty much. I think the squirrel's hungry, right? I think he's hungry. What do squirrels eat? Come on, squirrel. Really, really just a classic, you know? Can you eat the flowers? Hmm. They're plastic. This plant is called the Wilting Tony! Ah yes, the Wilting Tony. Is there anything out here that I'm missing that he could be eating? She's still confused. Hmm. Open a speakeasy and call it Whoopie Wobble? Is that what we need to do? Do you think people would come to a speakeasy called Whoopie Wobble? Downsize. Oh. Oh, nope. I thought maybe we could play didgeridoo into the paint can. For no reason. Trippet time! Welcome! Hello, hello! No clue what this game is, dig in the art style. This game is Dark Side Detective 2. Uh, we play as Detective McQueen. And uh, we did have, in the previous game, uh, a sidekick named Officer Dooley. Um, Dooley went missing at the end of the first game, so now we are looking for Dooley. Did you try the, the didgeridoo on the squirrel? You know, I don't remember, but um, solid idea. Didgeridoo, squirrel. No. No, he can't make the magical farty noises, unfortunately. There's something right here. Bag of nuts! Devin dra dropped his snack. Oh, fuck yeah, nuts. Squirrels love nuts. They're all about their nuts for those nuts. Here you go, little buddy. Can't go on stage, you had your 15 minutes of fame. Need to find a way to get these nuts. Oh my god. We're straight up gonna fucking didgeri launch these nuts. The nuts fit perfectly, I might be able to... <laughs> I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like an oversized blowgun. Fuck yeah, the nut cannon! Let's nut cannon this boy. Here goes nutting. <laughs> he got it. Reluctantly eats nut. What's eight minus three? Oh, he tapped five times! Correct, did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's us for today then, folks. This has been Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, getting you up to start your day. And we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. Aw, the squirrel's gone. I wanted to, I wanted to didgery chuck him some more nuts. Oh, we got a small case, a medium case, a large case, and a lockbox. Says Lemeg stuff hands off. The box is locked. Label says solvable in 20 min 20 or so minutes. Looks like an old model uh, of the one out in the studio. We're transporting mediums and other mystics. The medium case. Oh no, what a bad pun. Ah, you're gonna nut cannon all over his face. Yep. Yep. Yes. Label says for smuggling interview victims. What the fuck? All right, what's in here then? Hmm, looks like a bag. I guess this is what she wants. The go bag. Wow, wow. Naming it a go bag makes it um a little bit more risky. Olig ol oligarchies, technological death notices, rip Walkmans and laser discs. Oh, no. Drilly. Oh, no. Oh, I need to launch my nut cannon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> good. Good, good. 
glad we did that. Okay, so I have the go bag. I think we're good to go. Good to go with the go bag. Let's go, blood wolves. God damn it, how do I get out of this place? Here you go. Wow, I, I must be a psychic. I predicted that line of dialogue. Wow, I said that before it popped up. That's right. I'll tell your fortune for $10. Watch the psychic charge. Two days of finals and two days of workday left, then it's over. Char, what are you gonna do to celebrate? I'm crying. You're welcome, Charlie. You're welcome. Okay, super. Let Now let's get out of here quickly. Quickly. Yeah, this is getting more and more suspicious. Uh, uh, more and more suspicious. All right, let's let's jettison. We've got ourselves a mystic now for some reason, so there's that. Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think that all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. And some of it is, some of it's presentation, showmanship. Wait, I just want to point out, we left those kids back there. We left those kids back there. Wow, we are not, we are not certified for minding children. We abandon them as ball heads. We abandon the ball heads. RIP BALL HEADS! Uh, okay, someone's presentation is showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. Anyway, let's- there's a place some of us know that lets us harness this power and talk to people on the other side. Uh, and this place, it can help me get Dooley back? All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back yourself. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I just need to know where he is first. That's our issue. We don't know. We don't know the location. This is it. The switchboard. Hmm. It didn't have as many demolitions and progress signs last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. So note from the city saying it's due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to one another. What? Office is locked. Oh, well, that's open. That's fine. Tyrese, you shouldn't be in here. Three of you and not a hard hat in sight. Why would you, what would you do if a girder fell on your head right now? Die. <laughs> Accent D. Uh, you sue the city, that's what? Don't you think Twins Lake, Twin, do you think Twin Lakes can afford a lawsuit? It can't even afford lawyers. You should see the clowns in the law, in the legal department. Rip. So, uh, destroying this place. Ah, oh, yeah, come down, coming down today. Crash banging to earth in a terribly destructive fashion. Don't mind saying, it's gonna look pretty damn cool. Oh, hands off, you're not authorized to touch this stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to clear this place out if I wanna examine the switchboard. Okay. How are we gonna get, well, we could just walk straight past him, so there's that. Huh, what was that? What, 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 what? I saw that, Gary, I saw that. Um, okay. We got a toolbox. Oi! You can't have me tools. Need them for work. What kind of accent was that? It was like half pirate, almost, maybe. Man at work. The receiving dish scoops up all the noise in the area and parses it into calls and secret messages. I feel a strange energy up here. The broadcasting antenna blinks out the signal in Morse code. As a scenic person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. Hmm, okay, let's talk to Gary. Were you, uh, were you talking to a ghost, Gary? Ha! <laughs> ghost, uh, pull to, pull to other one, ghost, this guy, ha! <laughs> hmm. Hmm, suspicious, Gary. 
very suspicious. I'm on to you, Gary. This place doesn't look like it's going to be standing for too much longer. I don't think we need to worry about whether the power has been flipped off or not. That's why you're not authorized to be here. You're, you walking safety hazard? All right, Tyrese, let's cut a deal. Let's cut a deal. We can talk about this. They got there on their own, they'll find their way home. That's true, that is true. And we also aren't the official uh, Blood Scout. Blood Scout? Blood Wolf? Blood Wolf. Uh, we aren't their like troop leaders, so. Really, it's on Dooley. Um, why is this place being demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Word came from up to on high and tear it down. So we're tearing it down. Oh, I actually saw the oligarchy for this earlier. What the fuck is an oligarchy? Hold on. Am I outing myself as an idiot right now? Uh, oh, uh, maybe I'm not even saying, I don't think I'm even saying the word right. Hold on, Raxa, say it again. Garchuary? Oh. Oh, gar. Oh, mm, Oh, lich. Got og lich? What the fuck is this word? <laughs> og lichuary. Nailed it. No, it just wants it to be obituary. Oh, glituary! Oh, it's an obituary. Okay, so it's a made up word. I feel better about that. I feel better about that. Oh, glituary. Oh, glituary. Okay. Thanks, AJ. Man, look at you with your big brain energy over there. Okay. Um. Oh, we got crime scene tape. <laughs> um wait tape for closing down crime scenes ever use it to wrap last minute presents oh all the time uh it is not well received ah uh, well received i thought i was too drilly i don't think i've ever seen that word spelled before uh so i did a guess and i guessed way incorrectly so um, okay, let's try, like, wrapping this up. And we'll get the construction workers out of here. Damn it. By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. I franchised in spookers to solve mysteries my way, but all this abuse of police power makes me think it'd go a whole lot easier if I just joined the force. You would be right. Everybody out! I guess it's time for tea. I'll get the kettle on. Oh, nice. A tea is so strong, it stains some of... It stains some Baromian rings onto the table. I don't know if I just, like, don't have full brain capacity today, or... Okay. Okay. Uh, in mathematics, the Baromian rings are three simple closed curves in three-dimensional space that are topologically linked and cannot be separated from each other. So, like, like, like a Celtic symbol almost. Just picture that. That's nothing. Gary once stained a serif. Seph, what the fuck is going on today? Sephiroth onto the ar architectural plans and summoned an angel. Oh, Jesus. That's like the whole tree of emanations shit. Uh, Sephirit? A Sephirit. Sephirit. Yeah, exactly, Zero. Three fifths of an Olympic ring. Yeah, you got it. This game is scary. I just know a goblin is going to jump out any second. Man, if you think this game is scary, is your chance. Just wait until we play one of these. You'll you'll be you'll be pooping your pants. Where is Jorah when you need him to explain the math stuff? Jorah, Jorah, come back. Similar to the seed of life pattern. 
Oh, I don't know what that is either. Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Hats don't come in those sizes. Oh, Lord. Uh, pictures my kids drew for me. I'd stick them around the place, but that would be a fire hazard, so I keep them in a neat pile. I don't think that counteracts the ability for them to be a fire hazard. A uh, list of health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. Oh, Jesus. Seriously? Just me? Okay. It's where we keep our bricks. This is where the mortar's kept. Okay. Good, good, good. Can I help you, detective? Maybe? I need to look around some more first. Okay, let's go look around some more first. This is it, detective, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. They'll, they're needed to make the connection between this world and that. There should be some dark side phone book so we know who to call. Without a transceiver, you're, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, look, you're pl pushing your luck, mate. Do go, go do some detectiving, yeah? Six evenly interlinked circles. Ah, I see, okay. So like, the other thing but double. If Julie was here, he'd want to know if there was anything edible in this. Chomp chomp. Nope, chomp. Oh my god, lady. Alright, well, I think. No. Never mind. Toolbox. Bunch of tools and. Oh, what's this? Sketchy address. We got a sketchy address. Good. Glad we can go to Sketchville. Um, oh, I'm just now noticing that we have a notebook. Okay, it doesn't do anything, but it does save our game, which is handy. Um, guess we got the receiving thing. The antenna. Nothing else in there besides the address. Hastily written address down at one of the piers. I wonder what this connects with. Hmm. I was really hoping to find something in the toolbox. Has anybody ever seen a switchboard in real life? How do these things work? I think they're witchcraft. <laughs> Was that Gail, the ghost from the library? Good to see you again, detective. What crime to got to got places all closed up for? Oh, uh, the death of tele telecommunications. See, we both got secrets to keep. Hmm? You want to tell me about this sketchy address, Gary? Oh, that, uh, that's where I get my dry cleaning done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure, sure. Tyrese, what do you know about this? I don't know it myself, but Gary had to drop something off there the other day. Mm, okay. The old water steamer. I'd offer you up a cup of coffee, but I made tea, which you also can't have. Wow, rude. Curious sus. Yeah, he's hiding something. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. My sister works with them every day, but I couldn't tell you how they work. What? These things still exist? Hold up. Wait a minute. Slow down. Back up. Try again. These things are still in use? That's almost more surprising than anything else for some reason. All right, what are we missing here? Hmm. Anybody have any ideas? I'm open to ideas. I wasn't pulling lurk working. She works w <laughs> at a different kind of switchboard. The TV kind. Now I'm even more confused. What the hell is a TV switchboard? Uh, crystal.
Braxa? Any ideas? This place is pretty funky. Would make a very trendy apartment. Well, that's not helpful at all. One that changed cam- Oh, the ones that changed cameras during live TV. She's a director. She's the director, Julie? <laughs> Director of the FBC? Sorry, I still have control on my mind, obviously. It will not leave me. That's a pretty cool job, though. Oh, it don't mess with my hair. That tickles. I forgot that we could touch to, uh, McQueen and make him do things. Classic. I'd have you a seat, but we don't have enough. Gary has to sit in my lap, sit on my lap on rainy days. Oh, cute. Sorry, employees only. Oh, is this where you hide your secret plans? What? No! We climb in there for private time. Wait. Wait, are Tyrese and Gary like a thing? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Does that make me the crazy brother? Yep, you're Dylan. I think I ship him. I don't think I condone um, private time inside of a file cabinet, though. Dillonaria. Spelled with a D, epic. Dillonaria. Ship Ty and Gear. Yeah, Ty and Gar. Tygar? Tygar. That's their new couple's name. Can we go to the left or the right? No. I can't believe I'm already stumped. I'm usually not this shite. All right. Here it comes. The cheat. It's doing okay up until this point. We're literally on like chapter 1.2. <laughs> Uh, okay. I guess we, I guess I, we literally just need to, we literally just need to speak to Tyrese. We literally, we just need to, we just need to have a chat. Is it even point and click if you don't look up an answer? Guys, listen, I found out the name. Oh, what was it? It's a, it's a, when there's like a problem in a point and click mystery game, that is way difficult and like way fucking out there and you never would have thought to do it. It has a name. It's called the cat hair mustache problem. I think that's what it's, let me, let me double check before I wreck myself here. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> Yeah, it's called a cat hair mustache puzzle. God, I'm so excited to share this. So apparently in one of the Gabriel Knight games, there was a puzzle where you had to get cat hair and stick it on a man's face with maple syrup so that you could impersonate somebody else. However, the person that you were impersonating didn't even have a mustache. So like, what? Uh, so when puzzles just don't make any fucking sense, it's a cat hair mustache puzzle. You're welcome. We run into those from time to time and I never knew that there was a word for it and now I do. And now I will use that word. AKA that spot in Pajama Sam that I could never get past. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we we're supposed to talk to Tyrese. That was literally what we we're supposed to be doing. There's a lot in the Gabriel Knight games that doesn't make any sense. 
I don't- I've never played them. I should, though. We can beat this together. Oh, are you guys gonna play together? Pajama Sam? I've never played those either. So many games, so little time. I see you've already stripped some of that material from here. We need to trace that stuff for the investigation. Do you happen to... Do you have a record of where it's gone? Sure, I have the manifest of what's been taken and where we sent it on to. Manifest. Nice. Says, the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceiver's listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Hmm, okay. I wonder if we actually have to, like, go somewhere. I can see a lot of wandering the city in your future, so I'm just going to wait here and make sure you don't tear- they don't tear this place down until you're done. Nice. Alright, where do we begin our search? The auction house. Holy statues! Is it just me, or does looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension? The, bo the bobbles, they're so round. So many dimensions. I hate it. We got a pizza cart. Nope. Lies. Moldy sandwiches. Coleberry? His name's Coleberry. Moldy sandwiches, half-eaten hot dogs, rock-hard porridge. Get all your festering food needs met here. Gross. Gross. There's some item pu puzzles in Martian Gothic that are impossible to figure out. So that is a very much a cat hair mustache game. <laughs> I love it. I love that this has a name. Sometimes puzzle makers, man, they just like, they don't fully think things through. I don't know. Twin Lakes finest purveyor of gone off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want? People at the auction houses like old things. Why not old food? I serve gourmet food sourced locally from the bins of Twin Lakes finest restaurants at a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crusts on the house. Uh, thanks? Absolutely not. Gross. Disgusting. We are at Yog Sotheby's. Yog Sotheby's. Oh my god. This place is so Cthulhu. We are about to walk into a cult. I want you guys to be prepared. We are at Yog Sotheby's, and these are the fucking statues. This is Cthulhu, 100%. Alright. <sighs> How much for this Fabergé acorn? Let me see. Wow, the coloring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second. It's fake. It has the wrong number of scales painted on the cupule. The cup, the cupule, the, the thingy. Oh, I can fix that. Not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There are already too many. Yeah, yeah, of course. Removing a few. I hear you. But I know it's a fake now. I'm not buying a fake, even if it looks good. Aw, oh, lady, you're killing me here. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. Very fair. You can't buy from me. I gotcha. Now, um, uh, my, my twin... Uh, identical in all ways, bar that he's got a fake, a, a real mustache. Can you buy from him? Please leave. Oh, what a lot of rubbish! Into the trash with this. Oh, I'm taking that acorn. Well, if he's just going to trash that, we might as well take it. Do you always take stuff from the trash? Oh, yes. Most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum, and old receipts in here. Oh. I am banned from all the good dry cleaners. Good. Good, good. Uh, this painting looks like us, but in some green foggy place. I wouldn't stare at that for too long. That sure is a painting. Uh, it sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like it. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, we got the phone book. It's like in a glass case and everything. This is gonna be impossible. Fun fact, uh, in German, Blood Sausage is nicknamed Dead Grandma. Oh my god, do with that information whatever you want, you're welcome. I didn't need that information, but boy howdy, I sure am glad I have it. Thanks, Epic. Dead Grandma. What a weird nickname. I never noticed it before, but you look a bit like Caesar. <laughs> it too, Roxa? 
The soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. One. Is everybody else just like neutral or? That math didn't work out. Uh, apply to face for possession. Oh yeah, that sounds like a good time. Claims to be the horn skull of an imp. The world's first ever trophy awarded, awarded to the artist for trophy making. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, sign from a uh, stone in England. That explains the explains the missing tip. Is that a circumcision joke? Is that a circumcision joke? Excalibur joke. That would make more sense. I was gonna say, like, typically the UK don't get circumcised, so that wouldn't explain the missing tip. Moving on. <laughs> Next. Yag Sotheby's! Auctioneer's podium. That's probably the only place I can get my actual hands on the pages from the book. If we have something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. Uh, hey guy, is this being auctioned today? No, that's part of the normal setup here, not for sale. Arnaldo! Arnaldo the security guard! He looks like he's wearing, like, dark vision glasses. What a shame, you just lost out on uh, seeing me underbid and get outpriced almost immediately. Wow, isn't that the truth, though? It's not the tip, that's the important bit. <laughs> I love how casually you threw that circumcision trivia out there, Miro. I know, I know too much about a lot of bizarre topics. We won't dive into it. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer is back. Back, back from where? I don't know. I think he went to one of the piers to get cookies or something equally rubbish and irresponsible oh okay hey auctioneer only back there no hammer no enter no hammer can i be the auctioneer i just need a hammer right that looks like the book we need uh it has the confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact and there's no way i can just take the thing with all that security i guess i'll need to find a way to swap it swap with it even a few pages would be enough oh we're swapping it with this manifest for sure Oh, Drilly. Drilly, you're gonna make me the internet's biggest pervert. Uh, just the tip, please. Uh. <laughs> I hate it. I didn't like it either, Julie! Nobody liked that except Drilly. <laughs> Uh, these things some people will try to sell- the things people will try to sell us as if we're some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clay urn with strange markings. Damn it, McKing! <laughs> Another tried to give us a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dooley! And another tried to sell us a bald cap and a fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me! <laughs> I passed out from laughing. Rip, Drilly. It was nice knowing you. Just a brief meh sound. <laughs> that was my feelings. That was my feelings slipping out. That's what you witnessed. Uh, okay, so we need the auctioneer back. It sounds like. Um. Mm, we have. Pizza and an acorn now, so I guess that's a win. Um, let's go see what we can collect at the junkyard. Beware of dog. It says beware the, and then dogs is scratched out and they've written in animals question mark? I don't love that. I've got a good feeling about that. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Goblins. They're goblins. Gramps? No, no, long coat, back again, too smelly in pockets, no, no, like. These guys, I thought we were locked, they were locked away. 
No way. Are these gremlins? Like, for real? As in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Julie and I locked them away safely with a magic urn in the station, though. Not sure how they got here. Got a spike. Pull, pull, buzz, buzz. No feel fingers no more. He's electrocuting himself. Still breaking every machine you touch, I see. Then we got Junior with a bleep, 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 bleep. Me like noise machine, bleep, bleep. What is he playing with? We had one of these when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. Family wagon? Then we got Gramps. Stay away, sticky finger. Gramp, no go in pants again. I'm sorry. Did he just say he shit his pants? Would it help any if I said he was unconscious at the time? He shit his pants? Carna spoiled food. Stupid lady only give good food. Want, want junk food. What good junkyard with no junk food? Oh boy, I got you. I got you. I probably shouldn't feed them without a good reason. It's after midnight somewhere after all. Man, I got a good reason. It's called releasing the gremlins. <laughs> releasing the gremlins upon the world. This box is labeled Dorkside Trash. Hey, that's a box of my stuff. The king must have thrown out our case files uh, when the division was, cl was closed up. That might explain how the gremlins came to be here. Uh, I bet one matching pair of socks that this will find its way into my local laundrette inside of the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. <laughs> the naughty bag? Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. Uh, it's serving suggestion. I hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never gonna work out. Hey! Uh, there's a family of raccoons in here and they don't see happy to, seem happy to see us. There's a whole family of raccoons. Smell food, pull, pull, pull it out. I think they're hungry. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out it was just pigeons roosting in it. They were ghost pigeons, but still just not that exciting. Yeah, raccoons. Give it up for the raccoon family. Tube of solvent, a half used can of solvent. Soon to be a fully used can. Fuck yeah. All right, I would like to feed them at some point. Look, there are wires. Oh, there they go. Oh no, they're gonna get crushed. We need to stop the machine. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I can't hear you over the pistons repressurizing for my next crush. Damn it, we don't have time. We need to get this machine off fast. Um, can't we just take the spooky wires? Can't reach them through the fence. Um, stop, stop talking about it. Hmm, an acorn. An acorn. Repressurizing its pistons to go down again. Need to find a way to break the crusher before it flattens the wires. How are we going to break apart something that size? I don't know, but this is a junkyard. There's got to be something around we can use. The fridge? The washing machine? No. The old food. That'll do it. muscle car can we get a whole car in there i don't think we could do a whole car uh i wonder if i can fetter a horse's ghost to this and run it around again no um. please only let me in uh, if I ever need to find a needle in a haystack, I know where to bring the haystack. 
A portable haystack? Come on. That can't be a weirder concept than gremlins and portals in the spooky underworld. You're right. Hmm. Can we crush a gremlin? What'd that say? I don't think feeding them will help me get the crusher offline. You don't know that. It could help. McQueen. Unbelievable. Oh, that's stark. That's fucked up. That's fucked up! This should lure the gremlins out here. Oh, I see. They're gonna break it. I thought we were gonna crush them to death. Got it. Now I gotta figure out a way to grab those wires. Not so fast! Oh, hey! Hey, that's cheating! Give those back! Uh-uh! I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want the wires, you'll need to find me a stronger stronger tech to power all this. It's it's safer if less exciting now. Junior was playing with the joy child, but it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming from it now. I've got a joy child. Nothing, nothing in there. Okay. Um. Do those gremlins have their shots? The old one might have tetanus now, if not. They definitely have tetanus. It's broken now. I need to find some sturdy tech to repair this. So she'll release the wires. Oh, that's a lady. That's a lady. That's a lady. Okie dokie. I don't know about tech. Let's go to the, the TV station again, I guess. Oh, look, our ball heads are still here. Hold up. What are the locations? Switchboard, the junkyard, the auction house. Okay, the TV station. Oh my god. I keep doing the wrong thing. There we go. Um, okay. Maybe the old camera? Not here to stop me from touching it now, are you, Marv? What are you doing with the doing to that innocent camera? Nothing. <laughs> There's another camera in here. Do you want to touch it? No, I've had my fun. You sure? I'm I'm mostly sure. Why does he want to touch it so badly? Um, so can't get in there. Nobody's in there. Any ideas before I cheat again? Oh. I am supposed to be able to go to the pier now. Maybe I need to talk to this guy. To one of the piers to get cookies or something. Hmm. Going to remove the extra scales Pete drew on this. Real Fabergé acorn. Hmm, yes. Hello, one Fabergé acorn. Oh. Does he want the Fabergé acorn? No. Well, we have a Fabergé acorn now, so there's that. Um. Is this like a, I get to look around the map? No. No, that's not it. Back to the switchboard, maybe? Does anybody here want an acorn? If you need anything else, just ask. But like, just ask. Only ask. Don't expect a reply or anything. We're for b 
forbidden by city regulations to provide more than one unit of help. Jesus, okay. Hmm. Maybe I didn't do everything I needed to do with the switchboard. Highly possible. Maybe I need to read through the manifests more? It says the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceiver's listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Okay, wait, let's let's try using this on him and asking him about it. Any idea where the transceiver went? It's been marked off the list. That's odd. I'm not sure. Sorry. Hmm. Okay, wait. Maybe he knows. Transceiver is missing from the manifest. Any idea where it went? Nope. Not a nuh-uh. Can't help you. Sorry. Okay. Nobody knows, then how am I supposed to find it? I like how his response when I can't do something is, uh, I can't find Dooley this way. Always reminding you, your top goal, Dooley. Or Dooley. Rest in pieces, Dooley. Um, I maybe tried the psychic? I don't. Did we already do that? Yeah. Hmm. Let's try the weird address on the car. It would help if I knew what the address was linked with first. I wonder if the item scratched off on the manifest can be found at the mysterious address. Only one way to find out. Let's mark it on the map. There we go. There we go. The pier. You could say that your mission has been duly noted. Haha. <laughs> Haha. I'm pretty sure this game has made that joke before, and I love it every time. Uh, Detective McQueen says, Let's see what somebody would have hidden would have a hidden address for this place. Why someone would have a hidden address for this place? Uh, probably to do with the secret black market that's here. The what now? Secret black market, you say? We got Mark's IT. Oh, you think he can fix our thing? Welcome to Mark's IT for all your not hard, not too hard to fix IT jobs, black market species, speakeasy and steakhouse out back. Uh, what was that last bit? Oh, not nothing! Uh, just my pleurisy acting up. To the black market. Excuse me, is there a way to the secret black market? Uh, yep, uh, that depends on whether you know the password or not. The password? Oh, uh, you do know it. You're wel welcome, friend. In you go. Enjoy yourself. And remember, no cops. It's the law. We got in. We're in. Well, this is it, detective. The Twin Lakes black market. Hmm. Hold on. Wait, I want to talk to Vince first. I thought that was a stuffed bear. It is not. It is a person. Norm Bearson. Uh, now, you know me, Vince. I'm the last regular human person to have an opinion or agenda. Uh, we just jumbo jet. Which means met? Heck, where would I even get one of those things? At the perfectly normal human college I went to? No, 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 no. That's the kind of uh, human. That's the kind of human guy I am. Mm -hmm. Yes. But animals should be left to roam freely, don't you think? Free to wander the streets for hungry bears to eat. Why? That's the natural order of things. Small, juicy animals at the bottom. Normal, two legged, two armed, furless people like us. Uh, in the middle, and the majestic bear at the top, eating whatever w they want. Carefree, and with no fear of retribution. But what about humans like you and me, you cry? Our tedious not bear life is empty, save for my tasty little pal to keep me company. 
Hey! And that, Vince, is where my animal robots come in. Programmed with all the love and affection you could want, but without the bad behavior, toilet manners, and inaccessibility to hungry, hungry bears. It's a win-win-win situation, really. What? Maxorn, welcome! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusaders Season 2 Episode 17 English Dub has officially creeped me the F out. I don't think I'm sleeping tonight. It's the one with the dolls. I've never seen any of JoJo. At this point, I'm kind of afraid to start JoJo. Like the JoJo fans, they get a little crazy. You know what I mean? Like they're a little, they're a little up there. Also, it's like a very long convoluted series. Like you just said, Stardust Crusaders season two? Like what? Fandoms ruin everything. Epic, I could not agree with you more. I could not agree with you more. I hate when people go overboard. It ruins everything. <laughs> I would like to start a petition to like chill with the dolls just in general. Agreed, I would sign that petition, Julie. Let me know when you have it uh, mocked up. JoJo's basically turn your brain off anime. Okay, I'm not sure how that's accurate with what I've seen of JoJo, but I'll believe you. Um, let's see if we can fix our broken joy child. Okay, can you fix this? Hmm, looks like the discombobulator has been shaken loose. I just have to reattach it like this, and here you go. Thanks, how much for the repair? It's free for an old timer like you. I like to do charity work for the elderly, so you know, when it's my, my time to join the ranks, they vote me in. Vote you in? Yep. You hit retirement age and either they accept you or you're Logan's run. Anyway, put in a good word for me, okay? It's it's not, I'm not that, but uh, you, you know what? Thanks. What? Uh, I'm more creeped out by the bear, honestly, than the dolls. What can I do for you? Need a robotic roomie, a mechanical mate, or a cybernetic hunting hound? We accept cash card, check, meat, of course, berries, honey in all forms, and porridge. But only if the temperature is just right. Kidoki. Got a seagull. Poor guy looks angry. Probably not. Probably out of work thanks to those robots. Uh, painted metal hoop. Probably not entirely fit for purpose. Oh, yeah, that's not gonna float. Uh -huh, literally. Don't touch that! You'll turn the entire pier off, of course. Off, off course, off course, huh? All right, into the black market we go. Mr. Wang, want to buy a gold-plated cat? No, not not really, Wang. We're at a lady. Rosie, what am I gonna wish for? Lots of money, eternal good, eter eternal oof, eternal oof, world peas. Yep, world peas, definitely world peas. Oh, uh, that sounds good, but I think I just want a giant trifle. Like, huge. Big enough to swim in. I butchered that. I butchered that. Trifle. I don't know if she means the cake because that's a thing, or if she means like, what trifle means to me, which is like, this defines it as a thing of little value or importance, like a trifle, like a, a knick-knack, uh, something you don't care about a ton. Uh, I'm going to assume she means cake. Is this, is this company in the UK? Cause that would make a lot more sense. Hold on. Hold on, we're 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 doing we're doing our own detective work now. <laughs> I have a very weird weird picture of Detective McQueen and Dooley on their contact us page. I just need you guys to know that. Uh, it doesn't say. I'm getting the runaround, folks. I applied to a job with them. They are. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Julie did the detective work for us then. Would you really move to the UK, Julie? 
Or was it like a remote thing? Okay, cool. So then they mean cake if if uh, if it was trifle in the UK, they meant cake. A hundred percent cake. Hundred percent. You dip out to the UK, man. I don't know if I would have the the balls to live abroad. Maybe in an English speaking country, that would definitely be easier. But EJ, welcome. You should ask Jenny Leclue. She probably isn't up to anything else right now. We should. We should. We should ask her to investigate. Okay, so she's this lady's gonna dunk herself in a cake. Uh, I hope that isn't a giant marshmallow man kind of moment. Ooh, man, please no. Make a wish. I wish I was the wish giver. Oh man, kid, you're getting meta. I don't know that you want that. I don't know that you actually want that. Don't touch that. For perfectly safe reasons that won't get me arrested. What is in that box? Uh oh, it's a monkey's paw. You took a monkey's paw with you? Of course. How did you get rid of a curse if not by passing it on? Unrelated, I can interest- can I interest you in, in this entirely curse-free, wish-granting charm, young lady? How about a curse we talking here? Raxa! She almost fell for the monkey's paw. Does anybody here not know what the monkey's paw is, out of curiosity? Mogs did not know what the monkey's paw was. And I think I've seen it in, like, at least three pop culture things. Jenny LeClue needs to solve the mystery where the fuck is the other half of the missing game. Yes. Yes. England tends to be a English speaking country. That's why I said tends to be. We've been to the northern part. Oh, uh, we got some hanging pieces. What's all this rubbish? Ah, uh, bits and bobs, magical stuff. You wouldn't understand. You, you don't know, do you? Nope. Not sure if anything is if any of it even does anything, frankly. I buy it cheap in bulk and sell it at a massive markup here. Capitalism, the only legal form of robbery. Oh my god, my king's over here eating that nasty pizza. The transceiver! You bought it! What did you pay for it? Also, give it to me. No way! Police don't have power here. The black market is, like, neutral territory. That's definitely not true. I'm pretty sure it is. This is like neutral territory, but neutral in the sense that it's, uh, it is pro me and anti you. What? I can't have it? Well, how about this magical acorn? How about this shiny crystal? Zoltar. Quiet your flesh word hole. Zoltar is about to dispense some powerful wisdom. Brown is not a good color for you. Oh, wow. He wrecked him. Welsh. Welsh is wild. Welsh is uh, the hardest accent I've ever heard. Miss Fortune Cookies? The fortune cookie market is saturated. I'm making a niche for myself. Ah. Well, look who it is. Detective Nomic Partner. Oh, my king. You know about the black market? <laughs> of course I do. All the cool cats of Twin Lakes do. I'm not surprised to find out you don't. You didn't, dork. I forgot how much of a douchebag my king is. You know, it's all illegal, right? That's why it's called the black market. God, you're such a dork for the law. You should marry the law. Marry it and have little legal babies. What are you, what are you doing here? Best cookie in the cities are down there to the right. They're so good. They're always there's always a queue for them, unless you're a badass cop who confiscates nerds cookies. <laughs> and before you even think about asking, no, I'm not Sharon. Get your own. You probably love queues. You're gonna marry the law, then have an affair with the queue. That's how boring you are. I have a partner. I just. Don't know where he is yet, but Raxa and me are gonna find him. And then you'll look pretty dumb. I don't know if somebody with hair like that can ever look dumb. She gets it. Not you too, Raxa. <laughs> McQueen and McKing. Yeah, yes, correct. You're correct, really. I can totally see why the kid wants to be Zoltar. Yeah, all right, I'll give you that. Zoltar is pretty cool. Hey, McQueen, yeah? I hope you do find Dooley. Thanks. 
It feels less mean bullying two dorks, you know? Wow. Wow, what a man. The organ bucket! Good, 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 good. And the cookie shop. Wow, they're it's definitely stealing souls. Sea hag soggy biscuits. The flavor is in the wetness. Oh, no. That's the only one we're reading? Okay. Um, man with a tiny haver. Oh, this is the guy! This is the auctioneer guy. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late, late, late duffing. But do I care? I do not. I want those cookies and I want them bad. What is going on at this cookie shop? Oh my god. Kitty, kitty wampus? This is gonna be the female equivalent to... Is it the blood wolves? I already can't remember. Hold on, I'm gonna figure this out. None of my Googles are turning up anything. Yeah, it is Blood Wolves. Okay, it is Blood Wolves. I didn't have a brain fart. Kitty Wampus, a Wampus cat. It's a swamp cryptive of South America. Oh man. Oh boy. We got a we got a swamp creature. Anyway, this is gonna be the female equivalent, like like girl like Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. It's gonna be the Blood Wolves and these chicks. Uh, you're next, honey. What can I do you for? Oh, I'm not sure. I wish I could buy the lot. Well, I sure as heck ain't stopping you. Oh, uh, I mean, I wish I could afford to. You have fixed assets, don't you? A car, a house, family, stuff you can sell? You can sell a family? Oh, uh-huh. I can't sell that stuff. Ask yourself this. Does any of that stuff make you feel as good as our delicious fresh freshly brinned biscuits? Oh gosh, you have me there. Something seems off here. Very. They're putting cocaine in the biscuits. Doesn't Kitty Wampus mean like off center? No, that's Catty Wampus. That's Catty Wampus. So Kitty Wampus might be like a joke on that. I could see that being the case. It's definitely Catty Catty with a like a C A T T Y. Cookies. No free samples, I'm afraid. While y'all are just gonna have to join the queue like the other idiots, idiosyncratic customers. Bonnie, you're a quiet one. Mama said never to talk to a policeman. Mama harbored some institutionalized sexism, but I think deep down she meant never talk to the police. Cap tag, buff hag, and blue hag, and then we got hag mother. They're witches. It's the blood witches. What you looking at? Chump like you who can't control where he's snooping don't deserve eyes. Oh, Jesus. Hear that? Next batch is almost ready. Hell yeah. She, her name is literally Maleficent. Heck yeah, Maleficent. There's no room for potty mouse under the sea. Under the sea. Sea hags. Yeah, DJ, links are fine. What you got? Under the sea. It's not a thing we say here, just something I hear my roommates say. I said cattywampus one time, and people looked at me like I was a nut job. So, yeah. A wampus cat! Oh. Hmm. It could definitely be a play off of that. Although I'm not quite sure about the, the under, the sea, the sea commentary. Let's talk to the hag mother, see, see what we get. Well, looky see, girls, a bona fide man of the law. What can we do for you, detective? Oh, nothing, just browsing. Browsing is caught for snooping. Now, now, Maleficent, why, I'm sure the nice man and his lost friend have the very best of intentions. 
I'm not lost. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. You look like you need some discipline in your life, some guidance. Why, you should consider joining the sea hags and giving uh, yourself over to the deep mother. The deep mother, oh lordy. The deep mother? Why, she's the metaphorical goddess in all of us. And of course, the very real goddess deep in the ocean, waiting for the sea levels to rise and drown the, lands fo the land folk who forsook her. For, 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 for took her? We found the cult! It's the sea hags. It was the sea hags all along. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. Soon may she rise. I might pass, thanks. Well, that's both your choice and your loss, honey. I hope you can swim, lady. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Why, I'm afraid all those cookies have been pre-ordered. I can take your details and a massive down payment for the next batch if you'd like. Maybe later. They do taste magical, like kissing the girl of your dreams and riding a roller coaster for the first time, or kissing a roller coaster, or... Oh man. One more step up and I'ma play you like an accordion. Oh man, I believe it. They offer, they offer orange sprayed mints, brine biscuits, caramel and sea salt cookies, saline snacks, and tsunami s'mores. Ooh, tsunami s'mores actually don't sound bad. Um, okay, I don't, I don't know if there's anything else we can do at the cookie shop. What are all these people queuing for? The sea hag cookies by the looks of it. A sinister looking sign, no kidding. Second hand hands that run like new are dedicated neurologists work the graveyard shift to meet your needs organically oh, fucking organ bucket okay uh let's go to the alleyway wow let's leave the alleyway let's back out of this what is going on man in big coat should we meet the man in the big coat i guess we should Good time, Charlie! Of course, the man in the big coat is named Good Time Charlie. Oh boy. Well, hey there, little fella. What you, you looking for a good time? Not from you, Good Time Charlie. Not from you, Good Time Charlie. This is Hagrid, maybe. I don't think he has enough beard. He needs more beard. Uh, name's Charlie and I like hanging out. Wanna go skydiving? Invite your old pal, Charlie. Need a buddy for a dangerous climb? Then Charlie's your man. Want to race down the wrong side of the highway and stare death in the eyes? Charlie is in. So, want to do something? How many drugs is this man on? Uh, we can't. We're in the middle of something? Sorry. Ah, uh, man. Nobody wants to hang out with old Charlie. I'm so bored. I wish I had something fun to do while I waited for someone, somebody to want to hang out with me. Aww, I feel kind of bad. I'd hang out with Charlie. Good time, Charlie, in the back alley of a... See which cocaine cookie stand. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally normal. Uh, if we could move this bin, I could get into that vent. Let's do it. Uh, it's too heavy for just the two of us. Hey, 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 good time, Charlie. Hey, good time, Charlie. Aw. Uh, you could help us move this bin. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could help with that. Thanks. Sorry, I mean could, but I won't. That's like four seconds of fun for Charlie. I'm extreme life kind of guy. Ben is no challenge. And then you'll be gone and Charlie will be here all alone with nothing to do. So tell me this, what's Charlie gonna do for fun once the bin is pushed and you folks are gone, huh? Don't leave me here twiddling my thumbs. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you a fixed joy boy. Take this. This should keep you entertained until something better comes along. Wow, we. This is a chipper wee fella. How can I repay you? And you help us move the bin? Consider it done in about four seconds when it's actually done. Oh, yep, you just shoved it. Come on, Orange Ricky. Sit with Tee Wee and Smash Boy so Papa can wipe out this row. What? I should be able to wiggle through. I'll stay out here and keep watch. Well, that's a better excuse than Dooley usually gives. That's not an excuse, I'm being helpful. Hmm, suspicious. The hell is going on here? I'm no... Patisserie? Pat... That's the people that bake the goods. The people that bake the things, but I don't know how to say it. 
Patissier? Pat Patissier? Patissier. Patissier. I'm no patissier, but I don't think this is how cookies are normally made. I'm sorry, is this bird poop? Bird. Tube. That. Bird poop? Mm, bird poop cookies. These look like lovebirds, I think. They're screeching beautiful tunes at one another. It seems to be full of uh, some liquid that's coming from the pipes above. Bird poop cookies. They're pumping out at a pretty high volume. Let's see. We fair maidens give ourselves to the ocean and the things that live there. We pledge to that the dark and deep are hit. The dark. What? Jesus. That what is dark and deep and hidden guides us to rise the sea levels so she may never rise above the surface can reclaim the lands. She who may never rise above the surface. To sell cookies for good deeds with an asterisk. Uh, the asterisk meaning sea hags know that mor morality is subjective. All in the name of the deep mother is good and right and so j also just. Hmm. Okay, that's suspicious. Boxes of ingredients conveniently stacked up for an easy escape route. Hooray! Box of cookies. I should take some back to the folks in the forensics lab. I say, knowing we have no forensic lab. Patissier! Yeah, there we go. We pledge! Are you guys pledging to the Deep Mother? I'll aboard the Deep Mother train. Who wants to join this cult? Aha, our secret laboratory is working so well, we're going to be kajillionaires. I love it so much, I would literally eat anyone who found out about it. I probably shouldn't go out that way. That's a safe bet. All right, let me give this man his cookies. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, sweet divine, how did you get these and what do you want for them? I have to hang up some paintings. Could I borrow your tiny hammer? I shouldn't give this out. But I have a powerful need for cookies. Sure thing. Just don't go pretend to be an auctioneer or something, or you'll find yourself in over your head. That's exactly what I plan to do. I'm 100% gonna go be an auctioneer. How did you know? Tink, tink, motherfucker. What's this? The auctioneer's hammer. My auctioneer's hammer. Yours. Mine. I've the coat, the hammer, and the fast talking skills needed to trick you and pull off an auction despite no prior experience. I'm the guy. <laughs> I can't say I'm entirely convinced, but there are no, there are old things to sell and rich people to appease. If we don't help them get rid of their money soon, they'll get money poisoning and start doing mad rich people things like hunting the poor or doing unwanted missionary work or worse, becoming landlords. We're doing God's work. Okay. Now I get to go backstage. Oh yeah. Soviet manual. Uh, an installation manual for old Soviet tech. It says that you need two installation tools, a hammer and a sickle. I have to imagine that a screwdriver would come in handy, too. Oh, we took that. Looks like a box of pants from a house move that somehow got mixed up with the rest of this stuff. Somewhere in the world, there's a pantsless man now. Are the pants famous, at least? Did they straddle a well-known butt, maybe? I don't believe so, no. Aww. A loom! It has beautiful notes carved into it. You should take it. What? Take it! Uh, when are we going to get into a place like this again? Don't you want a souvenir? So on cold nights, you when you mend old socks. Hey, you can look at this and think I've seen how the other half lives. That's not the most inspiring call to commit a petty crime. Uh, but something tells me you would like something tells me that this is will come in useful later. So you get your wish. Yay. At least until I find a use for it. Then I'm sending it back here. Aw, oh, wait. You're not just dropping all that stuff on the ground after you use it. What? No, that's littering. I send it back to wherever it comes from. Well, that's as noble as it is lame. Thanks? 
Jug? Can I take the jug? A never emptying jug. Wow, why is this in the back room and not on sale? Well, by the smell of it, whenever it ne whenever it never empties of its both use whatever it never empties whatever liquid it never empties uh is both useless and disgusting lovecraft himself referred to his mythos as yog sothentry soth 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 yog sothentry log log i can't i cannot my brain is literally shitting down. It's shitting down? Yep. Shitting down. Shutting down. It's shutting down. It's taking a shit. <sighs> Did you guys hear it die? Yog. So. So. Thothery. Yog. So. Thothery. There we go. My brain shits itself all the time. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Whose brain can't keep it together. <laughs> Great representation of an angel creeping up behind a man. Oh. Or carrying his books for him. Read the Bible, detective. Angels were always sneaking up on people to give them books. What? Boxes of pamphlets to places that don't exist. Oh, good. Somebody is trying to hawk this stuff online. Paper records for the sales. Nothing of use here. Security guards unpublished novels about a security guard who works at an auction house, but is also a globetrotting treasure hunter and man of action. This is pretty good quality. Can I have one? Fuck yeah, I want one. That sounds like a good one. A crate full of dog hair. Good. Mm, yes. That's what we need to sell at the auction. Okay, so now for some reason I have a manual and a loom. So there's that. Hmm. We have something to replace them with. Wait, wait, can I take this loom with the dog hair? No. <laughs> I was hoping maybe I could craft something. That didn't work out though. What am I supposed to be doing with a loom? Of all things. Hmm. So what what who needs the acorn? That's also another question. Everything is ready for the auction when you are. Oh lord. Oh man. I don't know that I should. I tried swapping it with the Soviet book. I tried, it didn't like that. A loom? No. Soviet book must be for something else. Just for fun, let's try the acorn. Nope, okay, not the acorn. Hmm. Oops, that's not what I meant to be hitting. The junkyard wanted tech. Tech that could fix the thing. I have something for you. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Come up to the door and show me. I have a manual on how to install sturdier tech. And the tech? Not yet. Okay, bye bye. Oh. Can't tell if this is an instruction manual or a communist manifesto. Same, same. There was Soviet tech at the pier, and you had a hammer. Is there a sickle somewhere? We lost the hammer when we talked to that dude. We no longer have the hammer. Was there Soviet tech at the pier though? Hold up. There was. Like the look of that, it's a special offer today. What's the offer? If you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours kind of thing. Go on. 
Well, I see you're wearing a TLTV visitor's badge, and I saw you on TV earlier advertising something sad. Anyway, uh, I want some TV time like that for my business, so I recorded an advert. You use your media connections to get this aired, and that unspecified foreign tech is yours. I'll see what I can do. Cool. Now, whereabouts on the back do you want... Whereabouts on the back do you want scratched? I need the lower back done, please. It's been annoying me for ages, and my arms just can't reach. All right, so now we've got to take this to the TV station and somehow... Oh, the kids are gone. So is the delivery woman. This lady's still gone, though. Hmm. Nope, that's not how it works. You okay there, DJ? Is a back scratcher doubling as a murder weapon? No. No murder this time. Hmm. All right. I think this is a good place to stop since I'm stumped yet again. Uh, I don't know what to do with this VHS tape. We're gonna get somewhere. We're gonna get somewhere. Uh, next stream is Thursday. We will be doing Dark Side Detective again, 7 p.m. MST. Uh, Friday is a special FMV Friday stream with Erica, and Saturday is more Dark Side Detective if we haven't finished it yet. Um, no murder. I don't understand. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't comprehend not murdering either. I'm. It's weird. Um. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think that's it for me. I don't think I have any other announcements. I hope to see you guys Friday. I'm really excited for that one. Um, thanks for being here with me for Dark Side Detective. I hope to see you on Thursday for more Dark Side Detective at 7 p.m. MST. Let's do our thank yous, our good nights, see if there's anybody to raid. You never know. You could get lucky. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night if you are headed out. Have a good one. I will see you on Thursday. And, uh, Squid, thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you for that raid. Thank you for bringing me your cool fish. Guys, if you're in my chat and you aren't following Squid Janeer, please go do so. He is a wonderful streamer. Uh, working on some Star Citizen as of late. Go check him out. And, uh, yeah. That's it for me today, guys. I hope to see you on Thursday for some more dually hunting. And, uh, have a good night.